Yeah, what's up, peeps? <laughs> That's right. You know I gotta bring the vibes with my video. Here on Two Wheel for Fun, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna move. And you're gonna groove. Yeah, don't stop. <laughs> feel it. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Good morning, peeps. Tony Reno here. And welcome back to Two Wheel for Fun. A site I created to share my love of the ride. This will be the third installment of my 2020 Euro Tour. But before we get started, let's give a shout out to the Green Knights Military Motorcycle Club, Chapter 93 up in Vicenza. We didn't hang out or ride, but I chopped it up with the club president Michael for a few minutes. And even had a few members like Natasia, Tim, and Zilko befriend me on Facebook. A gesture I genuinely appreciate it because friendship is worth its weight in gold wherever you go. And surprisingly, we all have a common friend, J.W. Jones, or as I know him, Jixer Jones. We actually rode together when stationed in Germany back in 1998. Oh, the memories. And we're still friends to this day. Matter of fact, Jones was planning to be on this trip but had to cancel because of the COVID pandemic. But uh, yo, where was I? Oh yeah, Michael, the chapter president who rides a Harley Davidson CVO Street Glide. People, if you haven't had the pleasure of seeing one in person, OMG. And oh, the color man, Black Forest and Wineberry? Man, talk about setting it off. If I ever have to paint my gold wing, you already know. Anyway, Michael, thanks for the conversation, and I wish you and the Green Knights of Vicenza all the best. All right, peeps, it's time to get this show on the road. Again, welcome to the third installment of the 2020 Euro Tour. But if you missed the first two, put this on pause and go check them out. Hit that thumbs up. And drop a comment letting us know what you think. And above all else, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And tell a friend or two along the way. Now, let's speed this up and start the hunt for Paso San Boldo. Hello once again, three minutes for you, almost two hours for me. What an excellent time for a lunch break, don't you think? I mean, heck, here's a park, so yeah, let's eat. And to my surprise, look, it's raining paragliders. What a treat, I wish you all were here. This is so relaxing. This is Tony Reno coming at you from Two Wheel for Fun. Finally got off the base of uh, Vicenza, the uh, army post there, and uh, found my way on the right road leading to uh, Paso San Boldo. I first saw or learned about this road a couple of years ago via the internet, uh, just from watching other people's uh, YouTube videos. I saw it, I wanted to experience it for myself, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. And hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I do. Because after all, <laughs> some would say I'm a one-trick pony with my riding. All I like to do is ride. But I do more than that. I just don't record everything I do. I like recording my motorcycle travels because one day... I'm not going to be able to do this and I want to look back I want to be able to look back on my memories and say yeah when I was a when I was a young lad that's what I did so 
That's why I do that. Paso San Boldo is up there somewhere. Let's see what this road has to offer. Man, I'm really looking forward to it. I tell you, man, it's nice to see something on the internet and be able to come and experience it for yourself. Uh, as always, I love my life and I love what I'm able to, to do. All right, let me be quiet <laughs> and uh, get some footage. like this there's only one word bananas <laughs> for those of you that made it this far I hope you're enjoying the ride as much as I am and those paragliders are they the bees knees or what people I mean we understand the art of motorcycling but can you imagine slicing through the wind on a paraglide above the mountains in the clouds <laughs> yeah yeah baby only on two wheel for fun. 
<laughs> now, I could have taken the straight shot out of Vicenza and been to Paso San, Bo San Boldo in an hour or so, but what's the fun in that? <laughs> My viewers deserve so much more. So for you, I handpicked the SP140. Yes, this twisty sweet goodness of a road that I've been climbing, this is all for you. Well, it's for me, but I did it for you. <laughs> Half the distance and triple the time. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my two Will for Fun fans. My current elevation is approximately 1,060 meters, um, which is about 3,500 feet for my American counterparts. And we still have a ways to climb. Yes, people, I'm going all the way up. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. This is a oh, disaster, people. The road, I guess the road is closed, so I'm not going to be able to go to uh, San Boldo Paso. So I'm Crutch. Oh, well. Oh, well? Oh, well? What the hell you mean, oh, well? There is no oh, well. Pull your head out and come up with a plan B or C. If nothing, you're the one who said, my viewers deserve so much more. Come on, Sparky, think, think. Visualize the map, see the route that normal people take and highlight it in blue. Good, good. Now, highlight in green the route that you handpicked. Yeah, yeah, see, see? Now, now the Tony Reno I know is sick with this ish, think. Think, man. Think. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, people. There's another way. I remember now the SP-148 before I chose the 140. But the SP-148? I don't know. No one in their right mind would attempt. And then there's me. <laughs> Let's backtrack to the SP-148, people. Don't worry. I'll fold space to save you the pain that I must endure. Yes, this will be me alone, a man and his bike against the world. Oh, cool. Hello, anyone still there? Tony Reno to YouTube, Tony Reno to Facebook. Hmm. Oh well. If anyone is still there, thanks for hanging with this old man. My apologies on the closed road, but who knew? I mean, and you know, that's why it's so important that you have an adventurous spirit on tours like this, because you never know the conditions of the road. And worst case scenario, just like I went through, you may have to backtrack hours just to get to your destination. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm at the bottom of SP-140 and now I'm off to find SP-148 and hopefully that path is open. Let's ride, shall we? Oh, 
Tony Reno here. Man, I'm not even going front. That SP-148 almost broke me, y'all. So whoever is still here watching, just know you a ride to the wheels fall off fan for real. <laughs> this isn't even Stelvio. And this 148 got me saying, God damn. <laughs> I mean, just what the bleep. That was one hell of a long ass road, you feel me? <laughs> I mean, for those that want, um, I'll post the full ride of the SP-148 at a later date. So uh, whomever can watch it in its entirety. Uh, but just know, even on this video, you got maybe 20% of this road. Whew, anyway. So uh, I know what you guys are waiting for. So uh, you know what? Let's just fast forward to Paso San Boldo and get it out of the way. The San Boldo Pass, or in Italian, Paso San Boldo. Street name, SP635. Overall height, 706 meters or 2,316 feet. A one-lane road with five tunnels blasted into the rock with hairpin turns or loops for connection and six bridges. Speed limit, about 20 miles per hour. Vehicle height limit is 10 feet, and that was set after buses kept getting stuck. And, you, you know, I don't think you're getting it. Let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, Paso San Boldo. Starting at the top as opposed to the bottom.
Oh, yes. All right, people, that is about the extent of my drone practice. Thank you for coming along to the San Boldo Pass. Um, what you don't know is I went down, I went up, I went back down, and then I came back up and decided to start playing with my drone. Once I get more comfortable, comfortable with the drone, you will see more drone footage, but until then, uh, just uh, you know, about a minute or two at a time. So all right people, I am back going through the last tunnel of the San Boldo Pass and from here I head to a hotel. I don't know exactly where I'm going because I still have about maybe two or three hours of daylight left. So um, I think I will mosey on along up the hill, find a gas station and just like I started out, fill up with gas, look at my map and head out. This has been Tony Reno, over 50, still on two, and loving it. And remember people, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up if you like the videos, and click that notification bell. And I'll see you next time.